ನಾನು ಈಕೆ ಟೈಮ್ ವೇಸ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಿದ್ದ ಬೇಗ ಬೇಗ ಬಂದಿದ್ದು ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಫೋಟೋ ಹಿಡಿತಾ ಇದೆ ಇದನ್ನೆಲ್ಲ ಇದರಲ್ಲಿ ಇಟ್ಕೊಂಡು ಸ್ವೆಟ್ರ್ ಹಾಕೋ ಫೋಟೋ ಸಿಡಿಯೋ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ನಿಂಗೆ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಿದ್ದೀನಿ ಚಿನ್ನ
Very clean fun. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. Oh, All right, let me get opened up. Let me catch my breath. All right. We did a, looks like it's two couples. That's pretty much the VIP tour right there. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. You see? Oh, where's the Where are you from? Huh? Where's back home? So the two people from Papua New Guinea. Oh, wow. Okay, right on. Oh. Yeah, old school. Good stuff. Baby shark teeth come down. And looking like this. Uh, uh, until uh, about the last three tours of the day. Yeah. 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 Well, they well, they you know, Jeez. They cooped up for a year and a half. Yeah, but I mean, it's. It's live. Sometimes you'll see water coming out of the stalactites, okay? And that makes us different from a cave. We are oh. a cavern, yes. Oh, Caves know. are drilled, mined, man-made, dynamited. Mm -hmm. uh, I believe also former active caverns. Once they dry up and no longer are growing, even though with formation, I'm pretty sure it's still considered a cave. <laughs> this one, however, is a cavern because okay. we're still wet. Wow. Even, oh. with, even with how dry it is, with how... How much of a drought we've been So in. our garage was a cabin when our water heater blew up. <laughs> yes. See, now that's what I'm talking about. There wasn't any of that the past four days. Nobody was joking back. Nobody had a sense of humor. Oh, that's bad. Everybody was angry and that's tired and grumpy. And <laughs> that's not you, is it, Kevin? Yeah. <laughs> no. Okay, that a boy. <laughs> All right, let me get flashlighted up here. Okay, I got the cave keys locked nice and tight. All right, let's see, I got my food because I'm up here all day. All you right. got enough chocolate for five days? How do you work that out? Uh, I, I, I bring a body-sized ice chest. Okay. And I, I got a deep freezer and I freeze like two and a half gallon jugs. My cat litter comes in. So I, I got four of those that I freeze, and it keeps it cold for about a week. I yeah, can even keep perfect. milking there. Yeah. Oh. Cool. I can keep milking there. Yeah, it's pretty neat. But you can keep things down here. I know, especially in the middle. You'll it's notice what, once we get in the middle, it reaches a cool year-round, crisp 54 degrees. Cool. Yeah, yeah come on in so I can <laughs> shut the gate behind us, and we'll get this, this okay. tour started off. <laughs> Thank you. All right. How are you guys doing? Good. So good. the cave was founded in, uh, and we're going to go ahead and still call it Cave, because uh, don't correct me now. I have one group that did that, and I kind of got a kick out of it. Every time I said Cave, they went, Cavern. <laughs> I was like, you're paying attention, yeah. So anyhow, this cavern was founded in 1908 by Putnam Boyden. Okay, and that's where we get Boyden from. That's just his last name. And uh, he had no family. He was a self-sustaining preservationist, okay? And he discovered this cavern by sheer coincidence, just hiking around the area. You guys been to Hume Lake yet? Yeah, yesterday we have been. Okay, well, he worked as a cook in that area for, for a logging company at the time. Okay. All right, and uh, uh, now it's about a 40-minute drive. Then it's, I don't know how they did it, but they did it. On horseback, it was about a day's ride. Wow. Okay, and then uh, in his off time, he'd come over here and explore, and uh, when there was enough water coming through here down, in, down the mountainside where you guys were kind of hiking up that trail, mm -hmm. that's where it enters the river. And he wanted to know where that water was coming from, so we came up, hiked up, and found the entrance of this cave. And a year later, began living in here. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah, wow. between, between sure. 19, 1909 and 1919. For 10 <laughs> years, he lived in here. And here's, uh, here's traces of all of his campfire soot. Oh, yeah. See all that? That's all campfires. And he only did this right up around in here in this main chamber where he lived in. It's going to be off to our left. We won't be able to see it. We'll be able to see the back door a little farther down the way. But this is where he spent most of his time because he knew this, the soot was going to do this. And he only wanted to do it at the entrance. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? He didn't want to. Uh, the yes, stuff. the good stuff back there. <laughs> All right, so come on. And we'll watch our heads. 
Okay, the ceiling changes a lot. Like right here, for instance, and I like to show this little guy out here because here's proof of our activity. Yes, sir, that means it's growing. And you can go ahead and use flash if you want to use flash. All the bats are hiding. That would be, yeah, that's the only reason why we couldn't use flash is because the bats would be hiding. I mean, uh, uh, out here, okay? But uh, yeah, they're always usually normally hiding. All right, because they don't like my loud, obnoxious voice or flashlights. Oh, they can't take jokes. No, they don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> and a lot of people on their way out have been uh, choosing the secondary route, which is the lower level. Flash okay. Okay, and, uh, yeah, I'm sorry? Are you telling us it's down in there? Yes, it's down in there, Susan. So oh, you'll be all down there. All right, I'll be watching you from up top. Or uh, listening, I like to give people their privacy and let them do their thing on the way out unless they specifically ask me to watch for them on the way out. But it's not too dangerous. It kind of looks like that all the way through. A little bit narrower in some areas, but it ain't going to be nothing too worse than what we're going through yeah, now. Oh, it's awesome. A lot of people have been coming up saying that was even better than up here. Okay. And I don't understand well, how they don't have really formation down. It all gets washed away. Every year it gets washed away. Yeah, look at all these guys. Oh, she, oh, we're going to, oh, yeah, we'll use that uh, in the uh, rimstone pools. There's a room down there where oh, you've got, you got lots of little calcite, okay. calcite rimstone pools showing up, and it should light up real good. I've been wanting to get one of those. How dare you? <laughs> yes. Amazon. Awesome. Okay, so those, those little water drop things coming out of those stalactites, right? <laughs> when they drop water, they start to grow stalagmites. All right, and if they grow, if they grow long enough, they'll meet each other and do this, right there. So yeah, that, yeah. They make columns there, and then you got columns here too. The cave will build itself its own support columns. Good stuff, and it's marble. This whole thing is marble. Don't let the white stuff you see on the outside fool you. That's all calcite. Okay, we'll get into that a little bit later. For the for the setup, I gotta set you up for the big shocker. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, you'd be surprised at how these formations are formed. Okay, let me just tell you. Calcite comes from seashell, fish bone, coral, plankton, and all that good stuff you find at the bottom of the ocean. What ocean? The ocean that was once above our heads. Yeah. That's right. Long, long, long time ago, when the world was one piece. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay? So there was an ocean above our heads, all that stuff dying and settling at the bottom of the ocean. Now, underneath that huge ocean was two rocks being metamorphed together, and that's limestone and schist. And it would take like a million years to do, and the weight of an ocean. And then that forms marble. Plus it getting hot and then cold and then hot and then cold, that forms marble. All right? And see all this gray and blue in here? Yeah. All right, now that's marble. Now it's got a little bit of white tint to it. And when we get farther back, we'll see some more washed off pieces. But what happens is, is when the water passes through the, the surface of the cave, it, it collects carbon dioxide and turns into carbonic acid and starts breaking out breaking down that seashell stuff mm -hmm. from inside the marble, which yeah. is this white stuff here. See, underneath this, you wash all this off, it's going to look just like this, but even bluer. And I'll show you when we get to the back. And notice all the scallops, guys. That's water current. Uh -huh. See, water washed this whole thing open. Mm -hmm. This whole thing, naturally. That is the big difference between us and other dirty, rotten, stinky, cheater, filthy, keep caves. Because they dynamite the leaves for show. The only thing they did for show is after the founder died, they came in and under uh, Franklin Roosevelt's program, the CCC, started installing the path. Okay? Yeah. And that, that, that happened between 1933 and 1942. And what? So, what kind of lights do you use here? Just natural, like we try to get as natural looking bulb lights as possible. The bulb lights, not LED? Yet. Yeah. Well, because uh, we're, we're try again, we're trying to go for the all natural effect. That's why I haven't said anything about the black lights and them downstairs. <laughs> but I mean, come on, that's gotta look neat. Yeah. I can't wait to see it. I can't wait to see if it works. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then you'll notice it's starting to get cooler and yeah. cooler and cooler. 
That means we're getting farther and farther and farther away from the entrance. Oh, speaking of entrances, here's the back entrance to that chamber I showed you. Okay. Out mm -hmm. front. Okay. See, so he stayed, he spent most of his time up in there. That was his little separate little room. He must have had a ladder. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he had a ladder system set up on this side and the other. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then there was no gate in the front, no bars, no path, no walkway, none of that. Mm -hmm. It was it was slatted up with wood slats, old timey slats, and then he had a mining claim posted on the front of it. <laughs> yeah, not to mine, but just to you know cover the red tape, loophole stuff, so he could homestead here. Cool stuff. Yeah, so you got your bacon right there. I'm pretty sure they sold the drapery. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. And then just a few weeks ago, there was water on the street down there. Here's another look at you know your possible escape. Oh. All right. Is that um, when you said the wear a water sandal or, or uh, something for your feet? Water yes, shoes? but it's, it's all dried up now. They need to change the... They said it was dry. Okay, good, 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 good. Yeah, so here we go. We're, we're about to enter the pancake room, and we do I like to show off the one-eyed catfish right there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you see him? Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's winking at you. Uh, he's saying, how you doing? All right, and if you come this way a little bit, sir, where I was, you'll be able to see the, the split skull in the back here. Oh, see, yeah. See my finger oh, yeah. shadow? Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. All righty. Yes, you too. See, this is this is what we can't do with, you know, I try to do it with the bigger groups, but yeah. dang. I would, listen, guys, I would have this whole corridor oh, yeah. filled up with people, and then there would still be a line of people down to those stairs. Oh, gosh, that's a lot of people. How am I supposed to give a tour? Like we basically have to march straight in and turn around and yeah. go straight yeah. back out. That's too many. What's the point? That's crazy. Yeah. Okay, so did you guys see the skull back there? Yeah, yeah. You did? Mm -hmm. we, got a, we got a confirmation on the visual skull in the pancake room. <laughs> visual confirmation on the skull. <laughs> and then and behind us, we have the upside down city. Oh, yeah. That's how the... Oh, that is so cool. Isn't that neat? See how those stalactites are puffy? Something was splashing on them. Somehow, something kept splashing and adding to them. That explains the rough stuff. Because mm -hmm. like some of them are smooth and some of them are rough. Yeah, here, let me get a... If you're going to... Oh, there you go. Yeah, sure. See? You want to paint? Paint. <laughs> <No. laughs> when you get up there just a little ways... Uh, Shine, I would get some cross light on that. Oh, for sure, you got it, buddy. Oh, right here. My pleasure, yeah, the VIP treatment. How about yeah, that? yeah, that is good. Uh, you get some shadow too? Yeah, a little bit further. Further back. That's good. How about there I get? Yeah, oh, cool. Absolutely, my man. See, this is the kind of stuff I don't get to do with those big crowds. This is what I, I, I enjoy. Is this. Excellent. And then nobody appreciates When you get that many people, you don't get the time to start to appreciate what's going on here. Yeah, yeah. true. You know? My goodness. All right, so we got the catfish, we got the skull, we got the upside down city, and I want to welcome everyone to the pancake room. Mm -hmm. Yeah, why do we call it the pancake room? I don't know. I'm not sure. Maybe there, I think she sees them. We got some. Oh, God. There we go. We got some lovely pancakes here. See your stack of pancakes? Mm -hmm. Your syrup running off the sides there. Yeah, yeah. That's you got what butter it is. on the top there. Mm -hmm. Now, if we were to sledgehammer yeah, this open, I don't want to do that. But if we were, this this is different than than stuff stuff like this behind me. Once and, and those are curtains. See, that's pure calcite. See, see how the lights try to shine through the bottom of those. Mm -hmm. Okay, well those are hollow. That's how the water gets in there. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, stuff like this, the pancakes, it's marble underneath there, and then. And That's then it drips over it? Yes, and this is calcite coating. It, it basically just runs like, like a hose being laid over there, and it just runs and runs and runs. And, and tens of thousands of years later, it blankets, blankets it and coats it and coats it and coats it. So, yeah, see, underneath those pancakes there would look something like that there. Okay. See that blue gray marble? Yeah. yeah. That's all like just straight up marble countertop status right there. Yeah. Or like a floor. And then, uh, I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with the Lion King, but we do have Pride Rock. Oh, yeah. Right there, you know where he holds up the little baby? Yeah. <laughs> or, if you shine the light this way a little bit, an alligator. Mm, yeah. With a hat. See that? <laughs> I love it. 
See, there's art everywhere. Yeah, check out the alligator head. Or Pride Rock from my influence. Yeah, I love it. See, we start like this. We go, there's Pride Rock. And then, but wait a minute. Maybe we see an alligator. <laughs> prehistoric fish. Or maybe a dinosaur head. Or a hound dog. What about a hound dog with his ear? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Too long. <laughs> I love it. Well, see, I hear a lot of stuff. The guests, the guests spurt some stuff out. Well, I see, oh, I see a wolf. I even somebody saw a wolf howling at the moon. Oh. I was like, wow. I mean, now that's what I like. I like that. <laughs> All right. Now let's stand. Let's have Ed stand here and have his and have his lady Penny next to him, and I'm going to be right in between both okay. couples here, and we are going to show off one of my favorite formations, and his his name is Shadow. And he's a wicked, wicked, bad teddy bear. Oh. Oh. Whoa! Yeah! <laughs> All right, now, this is another one where the whole line of people, they'll be like, I see this, I see this. So grab a picture of it and maybe go home later. And, and there's three major form things that I see out of there. One of them is the wicked teddy bear, of course, with his eyes peeking at you. All right, and then there's, there's two more distinct ones in there. Make your hallway, but uh, as we round these beautiful curtains here, uh, don't forget to look left, okay? Left, right around these curtains, and do it early so you can look up into the chamber. It's a, it's, it's, it's a nice chamber with a lot of things. Oh. Come, come on, right here. Yeah. <laughs> you all right, brother? Yeah. Let me know if you need something, okay? All right, that'll work. Lift it up. Not to be yeah, I know, yeah. yeah. What is this right here? Is this any special name? But that is called the Imagination Grotto. Mm -hmm. I like Bat Grotto or Squid Room. That one thing looks like a giant squid. There you go, yeah. And we got a nice little eerie drip. Listen. Something's growing really good. Yeah, and that's just a wall with lots of calcite up in there. And that chamber actually goes somewhere, too. Right above us, there's like another little room. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. I just, I can't fathom staying in here for 10 years. And he spent, he spent most of his time towards the front, but he did give tours by lantern light for a nickel apiece. Oh, yeah, I thought that was something. Oh, can you imagine? And there was no path. There was no rails. You laid up the video, but it's okay. Yes, see, right here, exactly. Oh, no way. I wanted to know. I was thinking, oh, you cool. You have your phone out. Yeah. You got you, you got any bars of reception? Oh, <laughs> no. Okay, well, just j right here in this very area, just to your that way a little bit and down there, what? you get four bars of reception. You've got to be kidding. Yeah, no, it's right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, that was four, a good one. <laughs> four, four, bars or, four bars of stalactites, okay? <laughs> That's really good, man. <laughs> right on, my man. Kill him. You yeah. see? I don't get to do that stuff with him. See, this is what I missed for four days, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. And now we're back. We're back to normal. All right, now this is where it gets a little tricky in here. Okay? Yeah, Just what's happening? Lots of, yeah, lots of uh, formation above our heads, kind of hanging down sometimes a little bit low. All right. And then the floor goes up, the ceiling comes down. And all this, notice all the roughness in here, the cave coral. See, something was splashing in here a lot. Mm. Something, something was throwing up calcite everywhere. From the top, from the bottom. Oh, I just saw a drop. Yes, grow, my pretty. Grow. Yes. Shine that light right up over here with these guys. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. Oh, you got a light? Yeah, right up here where the little drops are. Like, like the this? Yeah, that's good. Here. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, a little something. higher. 
Like so. That's good, Chief. I can see him shining. Yeah, I can see him shining too. Oh man, I don't know about that. Let's try to. Uh, where is it? There it is. All right, we'll see what that does. I hope it does something. Oh yeah. Look at that. Oh. Yeah, and see, this is also why we, we had to stop allowing backpacks. Oh, yeah, I know. I got okay, it. They, were, they, were, they were breaking and taking. Okay. Oh, no. Yes, man. Well, you know, the people are ruthless to begin with. Lock them up for a long time and let them out where they turn into. <laughs> there you go. See, here's a, here's a good uh, oil theory I like to show. This whole hall mm -hmm. used to sparkle just like that. Yeah. All right, but when people... Oh, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? The sweat, the, yeah. the oil. Mm -hmm. ah, okay, now, right around the corner. Yeah, this came This is, right up these stairs, this is 54 degrees Fahrenheit. Year round. Year round. Year round. And it's, to me, this is, this is perfect. This is perfect weather right here. Uh, maybe six, 60 degrees. I like, you know, about 60 degrees. It's a little bit farther back there. But this right here, this is, this is 54 degrees, okay? And then uh, if you look down here, you'll notice the twinkle. Uh -huh. You guys see the twinkle? Before? Yeah, yeah. That, I was about to ask, yeah. This is calcite crystal. Yeah, come on, step over this way. Tell me. This is okay. This, this is a passing area, so that's okay. Just be careful. You see, this is calcite crystal. This is the really finest, most lightest stuff that settled to the bottom of the ocean. Mm -hmm. All right, now right here, since it's coolest, legit, 54 degrees by one degree. That's all the difference it takes. This is exactly the middle of the cave. All right, you'll even see some twinkle in yeah. the rock above our heads here. See where my finger shadow is? Yeah. As I kind of drag the light back, see the twinkle? Mm -hmm. And you won't see it in the other part of the cave. Not as much. Not as much because all the formations and everything cooled a lot slower. By one degree, to be exact. So it gave that stuff time to make its way towards the top. And we'll see some more in the drapery room, too, because that's pretty cold in there, too. And then, okay. yes, she found it. <sighs> she found our 40,011-year-old wedding cake. Is that really yeah. what it's called? <laughs> Yes. Sometimes people say birthday cake, but in the training guide, it says wedding cake. And in the training guide, 11 years ago, it said 40,000 years then, so I'm adding 11 years to you. <laughs> well, Got to keep up. Those, <laughs> those years count too, you understand? Yeah. All right. Now, here's, the, here's some rimstone pools, but these ones are dirty. There, there's some real fine, small ones over there, right by the drapery room that I was talking about. That we, that might, that black light might work real good. Okay. But this is what happens when the water whirlpools. Oh. See, it, cal it calcite, it calcites its own walls. Okay. And then here's our brain. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right, right in the middle of the cave. The brain is located. And it's still growing. Yes. Oh yeah. See, and then you'll. You can see the hollowness, and this is how, it's basically like veins. The water is inside there, coming through and down. Oh yeah, look at the dots there. See, isn't that neat? Isn't that neat? It's, it's, that's what they mean when they say, it's alive. It's <laughs> alive, <laughs> yes. <laughs> right on. And yeah, you know what, it'll repair itself too. If it cracks, it'll repair it's itself. Later. You'll see them everywhere. The white light. I can't really get close oh, I got I got a couple spots where you guys can. This is just a teaser. This oh, is just the setup. Awesome. I got a couple spots where we got some bacon that I, I got a thousand loom light that shines right through it and makes oh. it look cool. And we can test that one too. Okay. But yeah, that that is actually one of the more popular rooms, the Drake room. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna get to get to see what's up in there. All right. And then now, does anybody have any lights on? Yeah. Do you have a light on? <laughs> is, it, is, it, is, it, is it easily turned off? Yeah. Okay, let's turn that, let's, let's come in here real quick and let's gather up. Uh, we can do this. We got time because there's so few of us.
Uh, I just want to give you guys a sample of how dark it can actually get in here. Okay. All right, and it's called total darkness. So let's shut the lights down, yeah? Mm -hmm. All right, and then we want to see how long it takes for your eyes to adjust. Hall shots like, like that or something. I don't know what you guys are into, but my goodness, I yeah. like this uh, section right that wants yeah. to bring pipe ahead of us. Oh, yeah, yeah. All this, right? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Okay, well, just in case you were wondering, <laughs> that was just a little that was just a little setup there. It usually works better when, when I got a long line of people, okay? I'll get them all to turn their lights off <laughs> and then get them all to make noise so they don't hear my footsteps. And I, I, got, I got this dialed down. Yeah, I, I practiced one day with my, I, I feel this, okay, all the way down until I get to this little line here. And then when I line the people up, I keep them behind that. All right, and then I just walk right to that. And a lot of times they'll oh, just they'll have a watch on. And I'll just be able to go right to that watch. <laughs> but I mean, I get like that right there, and I'll be all. But anyways, your eyes will never adjust in total darkness. Just yeah. let you know that ever, ever. And in fact, you'll go blind, and it only takes three or more days. You'll go blind. Yeah, yeah, it'll come back. 99% of the time it comes back. I think there was like a 1% chance somebody's eyesight didn't return. But yeah, there was a bunch of miners in Chile that were stuck in total darkness for almost a month or something like that. They all lost their eyesight, but it came back. Really? I wonder what the odds would be on that one. That's very good. Just the, the bright light blinded them for so long, or did they actually just not have any? It had to slowly but surely come back in. You know what I mean? Like they had to, they had to keep their eyes shut and wrapped, yeah, and then yeah. take the wrap off, yeah. keep them shut, open their eyes little by little, and, and, and little light, more light, more light, more yeah. light, wow. because it's too painful. Yeah. You know what I mean? Way too painful. <laughs> All right. Now we're gonna get, we're gonna round this corner, okay? And we're gonna get to the drapery room. This one's, this is a little. It's not too tricky. Oh, yeah, we're out of path, by the way. Just keep that in mind. If you <laughs> haven't noticed, it's all cave floor now. All right. And then we're going to go to the drapery room, which is super awesome. Uh, excuse me. Sorry. Oh, I had leftover dinner for breakfast, and it's not working well on my stomach. <sighs> okay. Yeah, and then, oh, yeah, you'll notice that crisp air. Oh, yeah, the Leaning Tower of Pizza. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I don't know if you guys noticed, but it started to come away from, from the wall there. Right there. That takes a long time yeah. before you see a change, I suppose. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. And it would take like a like a geological earth changing event to affect anything down here. I mean like an earthquake that would be ready to break the world apart like Pangea. <laughs> More or less, I, I, I know that wasn't an earthquake, I'm pretty sure it was just the weight of that mass sitting on top of the ball. <laughs> but yeah, all right, so here we are with the the proof that underneath 90% of the walls, walls like this, and keep in mind, this isn't formation. Formation is pure calcite, like this. This is pure yeah. calcite, okay? And here we go. Also, uh, here's your things that we want to try and black light up. No, you do that when you come by. But hold on, after, after we look at the blue marble. Yeah. Oh, oh, that does look like a countertop. See? Isn't it beautiful? Now, if you wash off all the calcite, which is this, this white stuff, mm -hmm. okay, that's what it looks like underneath there. Mm -hmm. it, with the exception of the pure formation. You know, like this stuff. The stuff that basically it comes from the ceilings and leaks like this. This is all pure calcite. Now, let me get the thousand room light. Actually, let's uh, make, it, make it dark in here and see what the... Put your hand over that real quick, miss, if you don't mind. Yeah. Tamika. There we go. Yeah, now, now put your black light on there, ma'am. No, 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 other, vice versa, the other way around. You hide this one, and then she'll put her light there. Yeah, yeah. Ah, almost. Maybe it's because it's so dirty. I don't know. 
But that's not bad. And again, that's what happens when the water sits there and turns. It makes all those lines. You can get to see some other things lighting up down in there, though. There you go. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I did. Oh, there's a couple rocks right there. Yeah. Oh, wow. Look at that. So Imagine right. that. What is that right there? There, it's a piece of calcite, I think. Yeah. Look, that's Look clean. Up. See, that is clean calcite. You know why? Because it was washed off. Yeah. Look, you can see how wet it is down there. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. that's awesome. Wow. i got to see bit. one more time. It's right there. That little piece of calcite is actually glowing. Yeah, that's this awesome. It's just too dirty. Yes. Oh, man. And that's, that's, that's actually, man, that's okay. You know, it's okay. Ooh. Oh, be Watch your step. Yeah, sure. That's why I go first, so I can find them all. And here's my favorite piece of paper. Right here. See that? Isn't that something? That is totally... This is cave bacon right here. Mm -hmm. All right. And that's pure calcite, okay? And that's... What, oops. I'm sorry. Did you hear it go ding? Yep. Yeah. Okay, well, listen. If you were to... If there was an earthquake, that'd be the only way we knew. It would go... Dong, ding, dong, ding. It would be a beautiful musical symphony. Oh no! Dang! Right? One, two, three, four, five. Five settings. That's the brightest one. Yeah. There we are. And then also, sir, there's another piece right there. See that big old slab? See up there? That's the. <laughs> okay, and also above us, that would really chime. All that stuff up there, all those beautiful drapes. Mm, yeah. I haven't checked this out. Oh my goodness. I don't know how, but we're, we're only a little behind, which is okay. It's not bad to be a little behind when there's this few people. Okay? We can make up for it easily. Yes, and then notice the lasagna needles here. <laughs> oh, wow. That's, yeah, that's, that's how the water decided to travel. You see, it kept... There was a drip or a run down the wall, traveling down the wall, and that was the path it took. And then it kept leaving and left a trail of calcite, another trail of calcite, another trail of calcite, and another trail of calcite for tens of thousands of years. This whole ceiling's growth. Alright, well, we got one more room to go to. Alright, we're going to go ahead and track there carefully. Okay, sorry if you feel like I'm rushing you, but I do have a schedule of people to come. Oh, we do have a full size room to pass, I think, on the way. Back out. And then I'll have an 11 o'clock for you as well. still growing, guys. It's wet on the bottom there. See it? There's about a good four or five spots that keep dripping down and growing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. To get back there, you want to take a photo here? No photo of the Christmas tree yet. What's the matter? He's not in the Christmas spirit. <laughs> Oh no. Having issues? Technical difficulties, brother? Oh man, once we had a reporter on one of my tours and her equipment kept malfunctioning. She was pissed. Uh -huh. I was like, I'm sorry man, do you want to go, go ahead and if you... Well, because it was an article that was going to be on us, so I said, go, go ahead and tell them, you know, we'll give you another tour. I can tell them, she's like, no, we don't have the time. Oh, she was like, ah. Well, then we'll go downstairs for sure, we'll get to come back. And she was like, we don't have the time. I was 
Officially reached the end. Okay. This is 800 feet in, 1600 feet underneath. Solid marble rock. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And underneath all this white is blue marble, just like this. Can you see that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. See that? Now that. In 2019, there was an extreme huge waterfall coming through a crack behind us up there. Let's take a peek real quick. There you go. And it was coming down at an enormous rate and washing off all that calcite. Mm -hmm. Flash flood. It was, it, was, it was flooded in here. It was knee high water. Half the guests were turning around because they didn't want to get wet. All right, but the other half that made it through was a huge payoff because I was letting people get up there and take pictures by the waterfall. Oh, wow. I was taking pictures of them, and and some you know some teenagers would step right in it and scream because I mean it's like 42 degrees. Yeah. Oh, God. You know, and, and then they he, we you know we get and I, it was just neat because it made all the rocks that we were just walking on and the ones you're gonna walk on on the way out beautiful like that. I mean, there was orange marble, black marble, blue marble, yellow marble, tan marble, red marble. Mm. And guess what? The color depends on whatever sea animals died down there and, and mixed in with all that rock uh -huh. that was getting smashed together. Cool. Crazy stuff, huh? Yeah. All right, guys. Well, listen, we got just enough time to, to march back and send you on the lower level out. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I appreciate you guys uh, keeping, keeping pace. Uh, well, I hope it doesn't feel like it rushed you. All right. Mm -hmm. this, this, should, this is just about right, I think. Yeah, this is just about right. See, all these rocks are so dirty from the very cheap thing. They would be all specifically a different color. Hmm. And it was kind of hard, though, because a lot of people were like, oh, can I have this? Oh, can I have this? Oh, yeah. We're really not supposed to use it. Yeah. Yo. Yo. What is this? Plastic. Hey, no, it's not it's plastic. No, it's calcite. Yeah. The crystal. See, it's stuck. Yeah. Look at down there, too. It's oh, really nice. Hey, it's... Oh, that's a nice piece. Yeah. <laughs> Leave it alone. Look. Okay. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Hello. Hello. Flashlight, okay? Flashlight, okay?
This a piece of tissue. Oh, that's why. Here, <laughs> not wrong. Forty thousand year old tissue. <laughs> In eleven years. Okay, let's see how many likes this. Too much. Let me go. Mila, Mila. How you doing down there? We're doing great. We are good. Yeah. I got myself wedged between a couple of rocks and can't move, but after a few days I'll lose some weight and I'll be able to get out. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 